Hi, it's me, and I just got my Lush package from Lush UK with my Valentine's stuff in it. So I thought I would um, just kind of show what I got, and then I'll also smell two or three of the items just to describe what they smell like to me. And if you have any questions about about them, let me know. I can I can uh, I can help because I have them. And um, okay, I'll be right back, and we can look in my package and see what I got. Okay. Okay, so here we have my package from Lush UK, and let's see here. Well, this pops out, so I have to look at this first. This one is it's a ballistic, a bath ballistic, and it's called Love Locket, and um, it smells so good when I smell it just through the wrapper. So it looks like a giant, giant locket. And um, I'm gonna be using this either tonight or tomorrow night so I can let you see what it looks like in the tub and, and whatnot. And as I understand it, it's, this is a, a bigger ballistic and there, there's another heart inside this pink ballistic. So, okay, so let me put that down for a second. And what else do we have? We have, um, <laughs> we have a close to you massage bar that I thought I forgot to order, but I didn't. <laughs> so I've been begging people to, my friend Daisha to buy one for me when she orders from there, and I think she did. So now I'll have three of them. Um, so, yeah, in spite of myself, I did order some of these. So, these are massage bars from Lush for Valentine's Day, and they're called Close to You. And I'm going to put that aside with the ballistic so I can describe what it smells like after we get out everything from my box. Okay, here is a... 16 ounce or 250 mils of the Valentine shower gel called Prince Charming. And this smells so good. It smells like it's described to smell. It says that it has marshmallow root, fair trade vanilla, and fresh pomegranate juice. And I, that's, I think that's exactly what it smells like when I smell it just without, you know, without uh, opening the top. So I'll describe that in a minute. And here's a, another one. This one's a, fifth, a 500 gram or uh, I think it's 28 ounces, 32 ounces for, for the states here. And here's another love locket. I may, may or may not have another contest giveaway here on my channel in the near future, or I may not. <laughs> I guess you'll have to watch and see. And those are for subscribers, so if you're watching this and you're not subscribed to my channel, you might want to do that because I have contests that I um, hold for only the people that have subscribed to this channel. Anyway, uh, we have a Love Locket. Actually, um, I think this, this label is wrong um, because this is a, another close to you massage bar and the big ballistic is called Love Locket. So, see in the back, this one says Love Locket. And this one says, this one says love locket, and this one says close to you. I love when that happens. Okay, what else here? We have, oh, <laughs> we have yet another love locket ballistic. And we have... The new Valentine's limited edition soap called Neon Love Soap. 
and it's really pretty red with some hearts in it and then you know it goes through very cool I'm trying not to shake the camera but it's hard oh my god maybe yet another love locket <laughs> okay let's see what else here ah oh see this is a tender is the night massage bar so this is another massage bar that Lush is selling limited edition, I believe, for Valentine's Day. And so these two would be um, the massage bars. Excuse me, I'm trying to finagle holding them both. So these two are massage bars with two different scents. And I'll also smell this and describe it to you in a minute. And here is a... What did I get with this. Let's see here. Hold on. Let's see. Oh, we got samples. Ooh, <laughs> you, you guys are so cool. So I want a dirty spring wash sample. I asked them for that because um, I like it, yet I don't want to get a bottle of it. And I uh, couldn't remember, because I have smelled it. It was many years ago that I smelled it, like many years ago. And so I wanted to see what it smelled like. Here is a, uh, a piece of uh, piece of soap, sunny citrus soap. Here is a sample of Bohemian soap. Cool. Here's another sample. Oh yeah, I asked for a sample of figs and leaves soap. I love this. Mm. Okay, let's see what else. Oh, look, we've got, I think we've got, okay, there was one more. Oh, here we go. There's yet another massage bar, a different kind, um, that Lush is selling for Valentine's uh, this year as a limited edition only. And this one is called From Dusk Till Dawn. Oh, From Dusk Till Down. Okay, From Dusk Till Down. I thought it was from dusk to dawn. Okay, and this one I will also describe in a minute. This one was available um, last Halloween for limited edition, and I bought one, and uh, or maybe I bought more than one. <laughs> and so um, I used them, and I loved them, um, the smell. Wow, so I bought another one when I saw that they were on sale um, not on sale, but they were for sale on the Lush site this Valentine's Day. So, okay, I'll come right back and I can describe what they smell like. Okay, I'm back and so now I'm going to open these items and smell them to try and describe to you what they smell like to kind of help you decide which ones you might like and which ones you might not like. Because people have different taste than I do, and sometimes we have nose twins, other Lushies that like the same smells, and sometimes we have Lush opposites, and so if I review these and I see I like them, chances are they wouldn't like them, so it's good to have those kind of friends too. So, okay, here is the Love Locket. Mmm. Oh my God, it smells so good. It's fresh. Um, mm, I'm trying to just fresh like what? I'm trying to see if there's any existing things that smell mm, that way. It's almost, it's, it's a floral, not necessarily rose, maybe jasmine, I think. So it's a floral, and it's also somewhat woody and fresh, or, or green maybe. So... It's strong too. It's it's not weak at all. I mean, it smells pretty strong. And so I'm thinking this is jasmine. Um, it's not it's not a sweet scent. I mean, well maybe just like a tad. It's nothing like um, creamy candy scent. It's nothing like snow fairy or candy fluff. 
it's not that sweet. Hmm. I think you'll like it. I think um, I think a lot of people will like this because it's not too anything, yeah, but yet it's strong. It's a floral with some uh, fresh kind of almost woody note. Um, let's see what it doesn't. The ingredients are not there, so I can't tell you um, what that is. Darn it! Well, normally I would look on my iPhone at. Um, but I'm using my iPhone to record this, so. <laughs> okay, so I'll come back and, and edit that part in when I find out what the ingredient list is. Okay, next item we have is the Prince Charming Shower Gel. And uh, marshmallow root, vanilla, and pomegranate juice. And so, when you open it, Wow, this is these are filled really full. I don't know if you can see it. They're filled like right there at the very top, top, top. So that's cool. And I smell the pomegranate. I do. Mmm. It's um. I smell geranium. Pomegranate. Something like. Oh, great. Some just. Stopped because I'm squeezing it to sniff it. It just dropped a little bit. So, anyway, it smells like there might be neroli in it or something like that. Like, there's almost a woody smell in this. And then a slight, slight, slight floral, like, rose smell. It Because it, initially, it smells a little tiny bit like rose jam. But then... There's more of a fruitiness to it. Mm, so, let me see here. Okay, so vanilla pod, and that's... I can't... I definitely smell vanilla, but it's not like vanilla in, um, in anything that, um, that Lush is selling. Um, so, it's mostly fruity. And the vanilla is kind of an undernote. And grapefruit oil. And, yeah, that's the fruitiness oh, I thought was neroli, which is the bitter orange flower. Yeah, grapefruit. So that's vanilla and grapefruit and pomegranate juice. And geranium oil, like I smell. And almond oil. So this shower gel has almond oil in it. So that tells you it's going to be very softening. And then sandalwood oil, which is one of my favorite. It's a resinous. It's an incense. It's a tree, actually, that grows only in a couple of places on earth. And they make it a lot for incense. And uh, that's one of my favorite smells in the world. And that's why it smelled almost woody. So it's fruity. Initially, you smell the pomegranate and the grapefruit juice, and then there's a slight vanilla sweetness underneath, and then the sandalwood. So it's kind of a, a woody smell. It's not incensey. It's uh, it's kind of woody and fruity. I like it. I like it. It's different. Um, Lush doesn't make anything like that. A smell that I know of. And so here's the soap, and it's called Neon Love Soap. And there's a video here on my channel where um, when I when they flew me over to the UK main headquarters and they um, I got a tour of the factory and um, with my friend Jill and who's also a Lushy and we saw them uh, we saw Lush in the soap room and we saw them making this soap and. Uh, you know, we it was in another room with the window, so we couldn't touch it, but we could see it. And my eyes bugged out when I saw it because it was in the shape of a giant heart, a big giant heart soap. And then they cut these, and there's these pink hearts within the big soap. So I got a big piece. I got a 500 gram piece. You can buy them in 100 gram, 250 gram, or 500 gram. And so this was about. Seventeen dollars, um, I think. So, mm. and 
this is nice. It's also fruity, but not in a great fruity way. Let's see. It's got coconut oil. It's got soy yogurt. It's got fresh passion fruit juice. That's what I'm smelling. It has fresh figs um, and cinnamon leaf oil and bergamot oil and rosewood oil. So rosewood oil is a, it's kind of an, um, not an incense-y thing, but it's kind of like sandalwood in that it has that woody smell, maybe a little bit deeper. So, so we have cinnamon, which makes it mm, kind of have that Christmassy smell, that baked, baked pastry kind of smell. But it's not too, it's not too cinnamony. And then the bergamot oil, so you have that sort of, that sort of lime tang to it. That's what it smells like to me. And then the fresh figs. It makes the soap kind of, kind of the same. It looks similar to the figs and leaves, but I'm not sure. But I think the figs will be in there, and I think you'd be able to feel the consistency because I think they're really moisturizing. And then fresh passion fruit juice. And that's what, that's what you smell originally is the passion fruit juice. And it's different than this juice. This has, yeah, this is different. This is um, a little bit more sweet and, and less woody. Mm. mm, this is, it's, it's kind of yummy and, and pretty, whereas this is kind of, mm, it's kind of fruity and woody, if that makes sense. And, let's see, um, the Close to You Massage Bar, I'm going to open it now. Oh, this smells like creamy candy. Wow. Um, the cre Ooh. It's uh, all moist and stuff. I love it. So this is a uh, close to you massage bar, um, limited edition for Valentine's. And it's a creamy candy scented massage bar. And creamy candy is the one um, that Lush sells uh, all the time. It's a bubble bar and it's pink and it's, it's creamy candy. It's not the same scent as like Snow Fairy or anything. It's a separate scent group called Creamy Candy. And that's what it is. And you know, I don't think Lush has ever made, oh, I, I know they haven't made any massage bars that are in the Creamy Candy scent. So that's kind of cool. Versus the, uh, for Christmas, the little angel-shaped massage bar, that was a uh, snow fairy scented, but this is definitely creamy candy. Creamy candy is not my favorite scent in the world. I like the bubble bar, but the lotion and the other things that are in the creamy candy scent, eh, they're not my favorite, except the bubble bar. And they used to have a melt, too, a creamy candy melt, which I loved, because this those... Those two, for whatever reason, smelled more like raspberry to me than a, than a you know, bubble gummy kind of scent. And uh, so those of you who like creamy candy, you're going to love this. And this is more of a, it's not as, it's one of those softer massage bars that, that um, you can kind of squish instead of the really hard ones that are hard and solid so you can get them and rub them on. So um, Lush didn't make very many, doesn't hasn't make, made very many of these new formula whipped, um, softer whipped massage bars, but um, the Angel Fairy was one of them, and this is one of them, and they had another one I can't remember the name of that's not for Valentine's Day, so that's that. And... Uh, so here is the Love Locket Ballistic. So I thought I'd give you a closer, closer look. So that's what it looks like in the back. And then it's got this seam that runs all the way around. And you can crack it in half and uh, 
it has another heart in the middle. And this, like I say, is a jasmine smelling. It's a floral smell. Um, it's strong. I think people will like it. And then we have the um, oh, the close to you massage bar. Excuse me, I'm trying to get into focus. The close to you massage bar, which is one of those um, squishable. Well, maybe it isn't squishable. You know what? Oh yeah, it is squishable because I just squished it. Okay, so I'll be using that tonight. Mm, it's creamy candy. You know, I am I'm gonna use it of course, but it's it's not my favorite scent, this one, but it sure is pretty, isn't it? And I'm sure there's plenty of people that like the creamy candy scent. I, in fact I know there's loads and loads of people who do. So this one is which is called Tender is the Night is um is a hard um, bar. It's not a squishable bar. Whereas last year, for for Lush Valentine's, we had a Tender is the Night massage bar. Also, so and only this one was a heart shaped and a smushable one, as you can see. So it was that that whipped, the new formula is a whipped, um, more aerated massage bar, so it's more squishy, so you can squish it and really, really get into, you know, rub it on the skin, and it has a luscious feel. And this time, same, same, same fragrance and same name, but this one is a different looking oval bar, and it's hard, like, it's hard like therapy massage bar and and that kind of thing. So um, it has this the tender is the night smell that this one does that we all loved last year because it was one of my favorite, favorite, favorite massage bars and scents. Woo! Boy, was that popular, right? So when I saw this was being sold, I had to get one, of course. And then we have the lip gloss called The Kiss. And that's being sold for Valentine's um, this year also. And I'm trying to open it here. And that's what it looks like. Mine is used because I bought one last year. And I've been using it all this time. And so it's a, it's a, a thicker... A medium thick kind of consistency. Um, I like the consistency. It it's not a high shine, but it's not a a matte either. It has a good good slip slippery feel and also a good kind of a cocoa buttery um, feel. And this scent of this is the same as this massage bar here. And I don't know if some of you remember Lush North America um, last year for Valentine's Day. They sold some, they call them uh, mix-up or oops kind of products, and which are my favorite kind of products. And they had made the Kiss lip gloss. Uh, they, they had made this massage bar, which was going to be... Uh, something else, and they put the um, the kiss scent in this massage bar, and these were limited edition because um, they they were even more limited than you know the Valentine's limited edition. So naturally, I bought a couple, and I gotta tell you, the smell of this is wow. I mean, it's it's just wickedly good. If you have a chance to get one of these from last year, oh my god, you need to get one. So, and then the other massage bar for this Valentine's Day is um, from Dusk Till Down. And it's a yummy, orangey, 
very orangey kind of scent. Um, mm, it's not like a zingy, bright kind of a citrus. Um, it's more of a, a yummy sort of vanillary kind of citrus. And it's, uh, mm, it's it smells like some kind of dessert or something. I love it. So Lush did um, wonderful things with these massage bars this year. Um, so I love massage bars, um, and um, my husband uh, loves my massage bars as well. <laughs> so here's the soap again, the Neon Love Soap, and it's a it's a deep pink with um, light pink cream colored hearts in it. Let's let you read the label here. Sorry for, I'm trying to get this to set it so I can focus for you. There we go. Okay. So it's got water, propylene glycol, it's got rapeseed, coconut oil, soy yogurt, fresh passion fruit juice, corn flour, um, fresh figs, perfume, cinnamon leaf oil, and rosewood oil, and bergamot oil. So, again, I would say this sure smells good. It's, it's fruity but fresh. So it's fresh fruity. Um, and then, um, let's see what other ingredients. I can show you the ingredients in the Prince Charming Shower Gel. And that's a deep pinkish red, as you can see. Oops. It has marshmallow and vanilla pod. Um, water, let's see, let's go down to this, okay, there's grapefruit oil, there's fresh pomegranate juice, and sandalwood oil, geranium oil, and almond oil. So, uh, and like I say, it smells like it. Um, you can smell the pomegranates. I like pomegranate seeds, and so I like this shower gel. It's not in your face strong. Um, it's not as fruity as, say, Fruity Beauty, if any of you are wondering, you know, if it smells like that because it's so fruity. Um, but it, it doesn't. Fruity Beauty is more of a, you know, a berryish kind of fruity scent where this is a, more geranium oil. You know, geranium oil was an Aura Suavis um, bubble bar and so imagine that in geranium oil and pomegranate juice. So, do do do. Let's see. Um, I think that's it. I think I've shown you everything. So, here's a shot of them from above, so you can see the different color differences. Um, so you've got a pink, a bright pink for the ballistics. Um, You've got the deep red pink of the shower gel and the medium pink of the Kiss lip balm. This is a lip balm, by the way. I don't think I said that. And then the yellow with gold tip of this massage bar. The soap is a, a deeper um, reddish pink, kind of like the shower gel, but the shower gel is more intense. And then we've got the, um, the light pink here and the cream colored it's a heart cut out and there's cocoa butter in there and then you've got the yellow um, flower petal tender is the night massage bar so you've got close to you massage bar smells like creamy candy you've got tender is the night massage bar which smells mm, like very light but but yummy, like vanilla with a tiny bit of floral. It's very light, but it really is nice. We've got this jasmine um, and other things, um, ballistic. And it's bright pink and yellow. And uh, I think that's it. Yep, that's it. So um, I hope that I did a good job of describing them for you. And if you have any questions. And... Uh, I forgot I was going to say what my favorite Lush Valentine's products were this year. And so of all these um, different Valentine's products, I would say that 
the ballistic, the soap right here, and this massage bar are my favorite products. I like the scent of those the best out of uh, out of all these different things there. So, and this one, I forgot. So, this one, the soap, the ballistic, and these. Yummy. Those scents, I like those scents um, the best. Okay, we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. And um, I'll be doing another video for this in the next 48 hours. Okay, if you like this, please press like. And if you'd like to subscribe, please do so. I always have contest giveaways to the people that have subscribed to my channel. And if you want to comment or ask questions, go ahead and do so below. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.